Okay, um, I'm just making a quick video here. Uh, it should be under 10 minutes easily. Uh, I'm looking for some help with Windows Movie Maker. Um, there are a lot of special effects floating around, around out there on the web now for Movie Maker, for picture-in-picture -picture effects and transitions and so on. There's reenfx.org, which uh, came up with a shader tfx.msi installation which I believe was for Vista. Now, I'm using Windows Movie Maker 2.6. Now, I have tried Windows Movie Maker Live, but I don't think my system has the resources to, uh, to handle it. So I uninstalled it. Um, it just seemed to be choppy and everything, and the video playback was choppy. I don't know if anybody has any suggestions on that. Basically, I'm trying to improve my whole Windows Movie Maker experience. Now, I've been around the web and I've been looking at uh, different websites for uh, help with transitions and effects and so on, but I haven't had a lot of luck yet. Um, I don't know if it's because I'm using 2.6 on Windows 7. Uh, do I have to switch to Windows Movie Maker Live to make it work properly? I, I would hope not. Um, I've managed to install a few effects for uh, Windows Movie Maker 2.6 on Windows 7. But the shader tfx.msi file, it does install apparently, but the files, the, the transitions aren't coming up in Movie Maker. The effects aren't, aren't showing up. Um, I have tried fiddling around with uh, the ReNFX file, which is in Program Files, and the, just, there's just a plain Movie Maker file that, that gets installed um, in there. Um, I'm not sure why that is, why it's not going into the 2.6. Uh, I know it's, so it's probably a question of compatibility and everything. I tried moving some of the, the transitions and effects into the 2.6 uh, add TFX folder, but it's still not spotting them. I'm not sure how to get these effects to work with 2.6 in Windows 7. Um, so any help there uh, with the installation would be appreciated because there's a lot of good effects in there and that's probably got more or less everything I want. The other issue that I'm uh, hoping to get some assistance with is actually the picture in picture itself effect. Now when I would use a basic PIP effect, and I can't remember what it was, it wasn't from the shader TFX, it was from some other spot. Um, it was off of Rian effects, that's right, it was a, uh, a separate PIP. Not the PIP plus, just the, the plain one. Um, I would get a small little box in uh, the upper corner like that. But the problem was is I couldn't make that larger, like, you know, perhaps this big. So that when I'm sitting over here, I have uh, a slideshow going by and, and uh, I can sort of have images that would relate to my talk. Sort of a PowerPoint type of thing. But I'm not, I don't know how to resize that, if it's possible to resize that. This is, a, uh, this is a Windows Movie Maker effect that I don't know if anybody's really using it. I see a lot of people using effects that you know, bring one image in and then the next image, transitions, you know, things moving in and out. But <clears throat> nothing really sort of like, uh, like what I've been talking about. And I've been sort of researching Windows Movie Maker effects here for about a week or two. And still really haven't found the answers to what I'm looking for. I've been to the forum um, and I posted a question there, but never got a response to it. I'm not sure why. If maybe I posted the question in the wrong place or, or what have you. I'm hoping that there's someone out there that, that knows their Windows Movie Maker effects really well and perhaps can help me achieve that uh, overlay. It's an overlay as well. It could be just called overlay effect maybe. I don't know so that I can have the effect where I want, have it about the right size, you know, that I feel comfortable with so that I can actually um, put the, the effect into my movies. Um, I don't know, uh, do, do, these effect, do these transitions or uh, effects always have to be the exact same size? Because um, when I slide one over the other in Movie Maker and you get the, the fade effect, you know, the fade, um, I'm not sure if you can actually have um, this coming up afterwards, or does it always, do the two pieces always have to be the same length, I, I guess. So I hope someone out there uh, on YouTube here has some ideas about that.
Thanks.